What's up, Nolan North, Troy Baker, yes. here on the set of Retro Replay. And today, our friends at Watch Mojo have put out a challenge. We're going to take a look at the Troy Baker top 10 performances in video games. I am terrified. You should be. I'm two of them, but it's <laughs> fun. <clears throat> so um, let's, right. let's start rolling some footage and let's, like see, a roast. let's see what Mo Watch Mojo has done. I'm very okay. excited. He's the voice behind some of modern. Okay, here it is. Retro replay special edition for Watch Mojo. Wow. That's a handsome man. Is it? It's a handsome man. I was I, I thought it was Bridget Nielsen with a beard. I look at the, okay, so It's I, Brigitte. I, Brigitte Nielsen. And by the way, congratulations on the upcoming baby. <laughs> Brigitte. <laughs> I was oh. watching a lot of Hannibal. So that's why the suit is Is I that wanted, what it was? I wanted to be Mads Mickelson. Number 10, Yuri, Tales of Vesperia. Okay. Oh no, number 10, Yuri I would, Lowell. I could get behind Yuri Lowell. First of all, they're naming characters after Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal. But this was like a big break for me. Uh, the Tales series was awesome, the huge fan base, and, and uh, we worked on this forever, and it's fun. You can't knock this What year one. is this? 2007, I think that was when it came out. Looks like, the cool thing is it looks like an animated series. They did, we, did a, we didn't do an animated series, we did an animated movie, but yeah. It was like the Tales games are awesome. Very Japanese okay. uh, and would, JRPG. Would, no, here's my question. Now, I don't know this game. I want to be honest with you. Yes. But would your fans agree with that? Number 10, I think would they, a would lot they of put them, it in the top 10? In the top 10 for sure. Maybe even higher up for some. All I right. would even say. All would right. Even say. I don't like it already. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how I am. Number 9, Ocelot. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Big time. Wow. Oh, That's okay. Ocelot. Number nine? Number nine is Ocelot. This is uh, from Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear is, yeah, this is, But five, this is the Keefer, Kiefer Sutherland. That's Kiefer version. Sutherland right there. Well, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's not real. I know, but it really was. And that's really me. And wow. that's what I would look like if uh, You I had all your hair burned <laughs> off and they gave you a wig? <laughs> 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 you, look like, you look like a bit of a victim. Uh, oh, this is someone who's seen the inside of a men's prison. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I look old and young. He thinks his boys are letting us grown-ups walk all over him. Well, that's what they would do. I look old and young at the same time. Don't I? Like, I look, yeah. I look effeminately still, old. But this, still, this was not too long ago. No, this is like a couple years ago. Did you do motion capture for this? I did the face for it. They did all the motion capture. And, and, I did uh, the face. I did the face. That was so Christopher Walken. Googly I eyes. did the face. Number eight, Booker DeWitt, Bioshock Infinite. Whoa, yes. whoa, 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 what? Okay, hold on. I'm going to call uh, shenanigans. Hold on. Okay, wait. Number eight? Hey, this is my commentary. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm going to say number eight. Booker DeWitt is actually one of my only favorites that Troy has ever done. Um, phenomenal game, and I really did think you, you, you knocked this one out of the park at number eight. And I know you don't have seven better performances. No, that's the, that's the, <laughs> they're going to jump. When we said top ten, we meant top nine. Well, and I th you know, Watch Mojo gets a lot of, of heat. I understand if they're doing thi this. is They get a lot of heat because foolery. I think lists in general are very subjective. So you're going to alienate yeah, a lot of people. But yeah, I'm going to say this is horseshit. Number seven, Jack Mitchell, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Ian and they're going to put Jack Mitchell, they're, Okay, Did hold this on. come out before <laughs> after a certain incident? That's what I want. Uh, let's, <laughs> not, let's not go there. <laughs> this is cool, though. I, do, I will say this. This is the first time I think you allowed them to use your, your actual likeness. Because this, this is uncanny how much it looks it like. It was me. It was straight up me. Where was the pic? There he is. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that handsome devil. Look, he almost makes you look masculine. Uh, and a little derpy, too, because I was like cross eyed. Look but at that. You look Gideon like. Gideon Emery. I look. They, they gave me. Look at that hair. And they, do they even scan like my That's teeth and everything, good. dude? But this was so much now, fun. See, but I gotta say, and I then there was also one other character in this. That they, there he is. Oh, hey, Kevin. Okay. There he is. We should probably it just maybe go to the next one. That look at that sex pot though. Number six, Kanji Tatsumi, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona Four. I actually prefer preferred. Uh, uh, I preferred Gideon Emery in that game. Just so you know. Number six, Kanji. 
See, well, hold on, hold on. Again, I don't know this one. Okay, what was the me. little? Well, stop. What Sorry. was the? What is that? What is naked that, and dancing? That, that is the you. shadow version of Kanji, and this is the beauty of Persona. Persona Four. There's the shadow world that people get sucked in through their television, and it's the alternate version of themselves. And here, Kanji's like this. He's like a biker dude, and he's like tough. Is he? And then his alternate version of himself is like this. Very effeminate, struggling with this sexual identity. Look at self. that. This should be called To Catch a Finger. No. Ooh. Shadow. I Yusuke think, Kaji. I think. Oh, look at him. Yes. Now he's doing karaoke? See? You like you to like sew? sew? What a queer. Yes, because he was trying to wrestle with his sexuality. Number five, Sam Drake, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Like a manifestation. What the? F what is happening? Number five. What could be above? I know. It shouldn't even be on the list. That was really hot. I was so. No, this was. I this had to do cold. so much heavy lifting in this because of who the lead was. I know Richard McGonagall really crapped all over this game. Point is, I like your story of how you were always an Uncharted fan, and you finally got to be. Uh, I was. Be part of it until this moment. I. <laughs> I can't wait to do the next one where I'm the lead. That happened. <laughs> Sam Drake, yeah, okay. We all that know was, that, that was fun. Now, uh, Objectively, honestly, that was fun. It was a lot Subjectively, of fun. Subjectively, it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was just fun. I, my big thing is like, what four more? I know one. I mean, I know what number one's going to be. Well, I don't know now. It's my personal favorite that you've done. But what's above? Number four, The Joker, Batman Arkham Origins. Oh, okay. I mean... This was cool. Now, a lot of people had a problem with this because this was Mark Hamill's thing for it so is. long. It still is. And people... I know got on to you said, well, you know, you took got a lot on from to Hamill. <laughs> and it's like, but no, but but it's true. But you 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 have to take something from what he did. I, I think you're stupid if you don't. I mean, he's been doing it for 25 years. And it's in the Arkham universe. And so we needed to believe that it was the younger version of this guy. I always said, uh, like, Hamill's Joker is like a, a laser, and I was the fire hydrant. I was like just spraying it all over everywhere. Um, That's so phallic, I don't know what to say about it. I, this was the role that scared me the most because I was afraid that, um, I, I was afraid I was gonna, people were really gonna yeah. hate it. Yeah, they but were, you reached out kind. to Mark and he was cool with it, right? Mark sired me, yeah, he, he like gave me the thumbs up. He's been, that was, the, that's all I needed. Number three, Vincent Brooks, Catherine. Whoa, number three, Vincent Brooks. I don't know what this is. So this was a game called Catherine. Um, one of the hardest games I've ever been a part of. It's a platformer, kind of like Qbert. Um, but this but guy. Wait, wait, are these cut, so are these like an, this looks these like an like animated a, series. Yeah, dude, and cut really, scenes? yeah, really good camera work. Um, is this the is this the same place where they did the Aha video? Take on me. Eight people got that. Game. Eight people. Hi. Nine, including. Did I just? Did I? I, did, I didn't get it. Dating yourself. Italian stallion. It's equipment. don't even. It, uh, so we really got a lot of liberty when we did this. Same people that did um, uh, Persona did this. This is an Atlas game as well. It's Super hard. Cool looking. This guy, it's it's the greatest premise. A guy is is trapped between two girls. He can't choose between two girls. One of them is That is not a game. Absolutely. That is no game. Us. Number two, Pagan Min, Far Cry 4. People struggle Number between two women. Number two is Pagan Min. Especially if they're heavy. Number two is Pagan Min. Probably. Not pagan Min is, this was, so this fun. was a really, really good, uh, good villain. Most of this scene was improv too, by the way. This, a lot of this, Jack Fletcher directed this. This is the first day of shooting. And the whole thing with uh, the, the, how we used the pen was. Um, it's a great thing. Do you know if you stay at the table and you don't move, then uh, you can end the game. By the way, it's like the very beginning of the game. And if you just sit down and wait, then you actually, that was Travis, by the way. And then you can just end the game right there. Really? Yeah. I'm not in the game very much. I'm only like in it like for 15 minutes. Look at the turn. The proper way to pour. You pour. You turn. That was it. actual mocha. A lot of people don't know that. Did the Bottle turn. of wine, pour, and just do a little do turn. Do a twist so it doesn't and drip. It won't drip. So right again, the camera. There it is. One to grow on. One to know. Awesome. That's great. I did that. Okay, hold on. Honorable, Honorable mentions. mentions. What are we gonna do? Okay, Jake Mueller, Resident Evil Six. Okay. I, I'd go along with that one. We. We shot this like a movie, like full hair, makeup, costumes, lit it, everything. And nobody ever saw you. And then we did the mocap. Mass Effect 3, Kai Ling. Asshole of the universe. Oh, really? Damn. Like the Delson. Whoa! D-I-L-S-I-N. 
Delson Rowe got honorable mention? I think Do Delson Rowe would be in the top 10 of these guys are weird. Would you? Number one, Joel, The Last of Us. Okay. At least redeem, redeem yourself somehow. Yeah, this is all right. I can't watch this scene. This is a scene that uh, literally was very, very difficult for him. We're not even going to get into it. You can, we'll talk about that another time. But my, uh, one of my favorites of yours. Yeah, uh, yeah, my, I, you know, playing Ellie was the challenge of my life. But you but were up I, for the challenge. I think I was born to play a, a, a teenage girl on the run. Annie Wershing is so good, dude. We did this scene so many times and everyone was perfect. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm into this. I can get into the Joel Last of Us. I thought it was really good. We got to work together on this. A lot of people don't know. Um, you know, David, when I, that I played in Last of Us, is not there uh, with, with Joel. But one day I was asked to fill in and they did a scene. True story. And they did a scene where... That that's it. The this guy right here. The that guy was you. That's, that's me. You. He just stuck the knife into my my leg. And I got to slap you. I he got to you slap me. He got to put a knife. And you didn't have to really put that that screwdriver in my leg. Um, I like to go for um, it. This left leg, left knee, still not right. But we suffer for you our can, art. You can tell when it's going to rain. Yes, I can. The humidity <laughs> never rains, <laughs> but I do know. Okay, well, I, what I'd like to do is actually pull up some comments from fans who. Well, may or may not. <laughs> why would um, you open that Pandora's box? Uh, just because I want to know. So they, uh, the why Watch did Mojo, Drew print these off? <laughs> Watch Mojo sent it over to the Retro Replay Show, and they said, uh, "You need to know these things." Delson Rowe, uh, and they spelled it correctly. D e l s i n. Should have had fifth place at least. For Delson. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I would, I would agree to that. Uh, this is one that we worked on together. Reese from the Tales from the Borderlands. That, that's it's a good one. R H. I know, -S. I know, but Reese, that's Reese. Reese. I know. Down, even a line in the game. This is just. There's a line in the game where uh, I burp in the middle of the line. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, that's breakfast. That was real. That wasn't scripted. I literally. And they came left in it in. And they left it in. Well to go. Well, Both well done. Guys. Well done. Well to go. Well to go. <laughs> Everybody, blurts in you. Hops get. I don't know what that. I just had a. Uh, how dare you not include his role in Saints Row 3? He was trash. I know. Don't. It was terrible. Um, I love that. Seriously, Aaron Black was not on this list. This list sucks. He's got a little MK love. I get it. Uh, Sergeant Matt Baker. First role. Brothers in Arms. It's your first role. That's why it's not on the list. This is amazing. Hell's Highway. Was it? One of my favorite scenes ever. You're going home. We it's one of my favorite scenes. Is it? 10 minute cutscene in 2006, 2006. Mm, you know what could use a 10 minute cutscene? Retro replay right now. Have you ever had a really bad. And we're back. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat, Aaron Black, another one, Matt Baker. It's your last name. That's See? How hard is that? The boss from Saints Row? <laughs> Whatever. Those two people understand that. Yeah. You were, you were a gimmick. Please do a top 10 hottest black women list. That must be for something else. Um, once I saw Jack Mitchell above Booker DeWitt, I knew this list was a joke and stopped watching. I mean, I kind of... Yeah, Booker DeWitt. Glazed over a little bit, Booker too. DeWitt should be... Top. Okay, this is actually a cool one. I like this last one. No Cyrus from Infinity Blade. Do you know Cyrus from Infinity Blade? Had no idea who it was. My son wouldn't stop playing this game on his phone. This is exactly and he just, and then all of a sudden I started getting the credit card charges. And I yeah. realized it's something called Infinity Blade. Yeah. And then I found out you did the voice. And yeah. my kids would just, they say, can you come over sometime? I'm like, absolutely not. If he pays back the money you spend in microtransactions for that game. Yeah. He, and you, you owe me. Nice chair. That was a good game. It was. So. Overall, I, I like the list. list. You like it's the list? I, but overall, I like it. I mean, you know, some of the, I like the ones that I didn't see. Catherine it interests me. I think that looks cool. You would lose your mind on that yeah, game. Yeah, I think that's But I would cool. be curious to see, I would love to ask you this question. Are you C Catherine in a, or a K Catherine? It's a very, it's, it's a, it's kind of the video game version of Ginger or Marianne. I, I if, it just if, depends on who is hotter. If Marianne, uh, is like really responsible and Ginger is batshit crazy and a succubus that has a demon father. I kind of like that too. Yeah, I was, I was a... Well, uh, I want to thank everyone at Watch Mojo for letting Retro replay 
look at these lists. Oh. Um, I would, I think, I think uh, your best stuff is yet to come. Well, guess who's next? What? Oh, that's right. I'm doing his list next. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we wanted to thank Nolan and Troy once again for lending us their time and their talents with these videos. If you want to check out some of the outtakes, head over to Mojo Plays by clicking right here. And if you'd just like some more retro replay goodness, check out another video by them over here.